He asked him, he said, Are you, were you the next best one? He said, oh my son, I am just a man from among the Muslims. I am just a man from among the Muslims. I'm, I'm just like anybody else. I'm just like anybody else. Ali radla anhu. Again, having this humility and being humble. The son of Ali, Muhammad, he was in a dispute with his half-brother, with al Hussein, And he sent a message to al Hussein, And he said to him, he said, Oh my brother, he said, We have been in, the, in a dispute for some time now. And you are better than me. And your mother is better than my mother. And the Prophet ﷺ said that the better of you is the one who starts off with the salams. When two people are in a dispute, the Prophet ﷺ said, the better from among you is the one who gives salams first, who goes and initiates with his brother. He said, so I was afraid to initiate the salams with you that I, that I would be better than you. So start with the salams. So come to me and start with the salams. SubhanAllah, that's how humble he was to someone that he was in an argument with, to someone he was in a dispute with. SubhanAllah. So again, to humble ourselves. Could we, could we be humble like this? Like these stories that we've heard. Imam al-Shafi'i, he said, we would drink Zamzam. And we know that that's one of the times that the dua is accepted when you drink the water of Zamzam. He said, we would drink Zamzam and we used to make dua for knowledge. He said, if only we would have drunk it and made dua for taqwa and piety, then it would have been better for us. Now he's looking back on his life regretting, saying we wish that we would have made dua, that we would have more piety. What do we know about Imam al-Shafi'i, but, that he was, but, but from among his piety, but from the piety that he has? There was, there was a speaker who started off a lecture, and he said, he made a statement, he said, أُحِبُّ الصَّالِحِينَ وَلَسْتُ مِنْهُمْ and the speaker that I had heard, he said that I love the righteous people, but I am not from among them. And I thought to myself, SubhanAllah, look at this, this guy and, I, and who I looked up to very much. Who I looked up to very much and I said, SubhanAllah, and he says that he's not from among the righteous people. And then later I learned that it was actually Imam al-Shafi'i who said this first. Imam al-Shafi'i said, I love the righteous people, but I am not from among them. And the Prophet ﷺ teaches us, he says, Do not raise your price so that Allah does not lower your value. Do not raise your price. Do not think so highly of yourself. Do not be arrogant and think so highly of yourself, or else Allah will lower what your actual value is. There was a student of this famous sheikh in Egypt. He said that he was once looking for his sheikh, for his teacher. He said that he finally found him in the public bathrooms in Egypt, scrubbing the bathrooms and cleaning the toilets. He saw his sheikh, his imam, and he wanted to cry. And this is again, this was because this man said, I, I didn't want any bit of arrogance to seep into my heart. So he went to the public in the dirty bathrooms of Egypt and he started to scrub them. And he's, he's from, he was from among the famous people of, of his time. So again, to humble ourselves and to humble ourselves to our parents and our family and to those who are around us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Does mankind not look at where they were created from? They were created from a despicable fluid. SubhanAllah, and from this despicable fluid comes people who are arrogant and think they're, they're, they're from among the best and better, better than the others. So do things, do something, perhaps this weekend, do something for someone around you and humble yourself to them, something you normally wouldn't do. And humble yourself, humble yourself to remind yourself not to, not to put a price on yourself that's so high. Again, anyone who has a mustard seed of arrogance will not enter into paradise. Lower yourself like this so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise you like this. So that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet wa sallam, very often times he gives us recipes for how to enter into paradise. 
for how to enter in the paradise, to how to have a successful life. And I'm going to end with this. The Prophet ﷺ teaches us, he said, spread peace, spread peace, feed the hungry, honor your ties of kinship, pray while other people sleep, and you, and, and you shall enter into paradise with peace. Again, so this being peaceful and having an effect on those around you, having this a good relationship with those around you, humbling yourself to those around you. Did I do the first khutbah? Yeah. Allahumma ahdina fi man hadayt, wa aafina fi man aafayt, wa tawallana fi man tawallayt, wa qina wa asrif anna bi rahmatika sharra ma qadayt. Allah yatina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa qina adhaab al-nar. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad kama salli ta'ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid. Ubarak ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad kama barak ta'ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid. Wa aqlu salat.